A woman is born with over a million eggs. By the time she's 30, only 10% are remaining. So that's 100,000 eggs. And then once we are in our 40s, you're looking at only about 1,000 eggs. Fertility declines over time, not overnight, but sometimes people feel like it's overnight because they're checking their fertility at a time when their fertility has run out. I think we have these preconceived ideas of, of what a family is. You know, with fertility, it's never a guarantee and it's never gonna work out the way you think or on the timeline you hope. I think I was about 37 at the time and I was still waiting for the guy and thinking, you know, that he was gonna come and the years just kept marching by. I didn't understand that egg health was directly related to chronological age. When Bridget Adams turned 39, she decided to freeze her eggs. She became an early adopter of egg vitrification, a technology that can dramatically improve the preservation of a woman's eggs and potentially her future fertility. So in the early days of IVF, freezing technology was not very good. We were using slow freeze methods where you would lower the temperature gradually over a program period of time, and at a point you would reach a place where ice crystal formation happened. And if the ice crystal happened in the middle of your egg, it would harm the egg. Vitrification is you basically take all the water molecules out of the cell, replace it with cryoprotectants, so that when you freeze, you don't make ice crystals. So then you don't damage cytoskeleton and organelles in the cell that its survival depends on. So now you can freeze and store infinite amount of time with no harm or damage. In 2009, 475 women froze their eggs. In 2018, more than 13,000 did so. Despite its growing popularity, egg vitrification is expensive. Most people who participate are white and with means. The hormone therapy used in ovary stimulation can result in a range of side effects, including fatigue, nausea, and abdominal pain. Back to Bridget. As a woman ages, not only does the quantity of her eggs decline, but so does the health of her eggs. When I froze my eggs, I thought 11 sounded like this great number. Of those 11, nine defrosted successfully. From those nine eggs, six fertilized. And at that point I thought, wow, I went from 11 to six in almost a 24 hour period and I started to get very anxious. Then the next call I got was, of those six, only one has made it to day five. And that was crushing. That genetically normal embryo was implanted. I was pregnant for 36 hours and then I went for my second blood test and the embryo had stopped growing. So I went from 11 eggs to nine to six to one to no live birth. And I think I still remember, you know, vividly the day I found out my eggs didn't work. I don't want anyone else to go through that if they can do something proactively sooner and freeze their eggs when they're healthier or start thinking about having a child when they're younger. We've now been freezing eggs for women who are purposely delaying childbearing or women who are gonna undergo chemotherapy that will harm their eggs so that we can preserve their fertility at the age at which they freeze. So, you know, clearly the younger you do it, the better the chance of success. There's a crucial moment during fertilization when the egg needs to eject exactly half of its chromosomes. Eggs are aging as you get older and they don't release the chromosomes till they're ovulated and fertilized. And that's, you know, this graphic here, um, which shows a sperm and an egg. This is the egg kicking out half the chromosomes. When this egg is 25, it's moving the chromosomes around with 25-year-old machinery versus 40-year-old machinery. You're gonna see more mistakes where a chromosome goes where it shouldn't. And for instance, chromosome 21, there should be one copy here and one copy there. But sometimes an egg, especially an older egg, fails to eject its extra copy. You know, now all of a sudden you got an embryo that has three copies of chromosome 21, trisomy 21, that's Down syndrome, and that's a meiotic error. In a 44-year-old woman, 95 to 98% of those embryos won't make a baby, and so you wonder why IVF fails so much. 
because they don't have a chance with embryos that aren't healthy. I'm asked all the time what is the ideal age to freeze eggs and I think that somewhere between 28 and 34 would be ideal age. That's because in that window the quality of the eggs and the quantity of the eggs is still optimal. After 35 it is possible to freeze eggs but the outcomes are not quite as successful. Egg freezing is not a guarantee and as Bridget discovered success rates decline with older eggs. I blamed myself for not meeting someone. I blamed myself for waiting too long to freeze my eggs. I blamed myself when my eggs didn't work. There's no shame and there's, you know, there should be no blame. It's just, let's start an open conversation and let's start to get into action sooner um, instead of waiting to sort of the last minute where everything is so much more complicated, so much more expensive, and so much more emotional. For 36 hours, I thought I was pregnant. I thought I had defied the odds. Then I found out that the embryo had stopped growing, and that was, uh, you know, I had described it as sort of crying like a wild animal that I couldn't, I could not get out of bed. It was a, you know, it was a really dark time. Bridget looked for another path to motherhood. I realized I was so excited to become a mom that I started to think, you know, well, maybe the egg donor route is the best route to take. Bridget sought out an egg and sperm donor to create an embryo that she would carry as her own. I always said I would never use an egg donor. I also said I would never be a single mom. And I also said I'd never have a kid past 39. So I had these, you know, lines in the sand and I kept crossing the lines. As I was carrying her, it never felt like she wasn't genetically mine. I view her as a creation of three different people. An egg donor, a sperm donor, and me. Everything, the egg freezing, the shots, the sadness, the you know sense of failure, the sense of where did I go wrong in my life, all of that just disappeared. <laughs>